Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back. Thank you so much for coming back. Today we are making a DIY aloe vera deep conditioner and guys I really cannot begin to tell you how much of a great impact deep conditioning has had on my healthy hair growth journey. I mean my hair has moved from dry, dull, frizzy and short to longer and healthier thanks to deep conditioning and other healthy hair care practices that i continue to share on this channel let's get into the video so yes aloe vera is one of the major ingredients for this recipe okay and i'm going to prepare my aloe vera by removing the spikes from the leaves and extracting the gel while doing that let's talk a little about deep conditioning okay so how do you know that your hair is in dire need of a deep conditioner when your hair is really dull and very dry in that condition it is prone to breakage and you will not be able to retain any length so if your hair is breaking just know that you might be needing a deep conditioner also if your hair is frizzy and you have split ends just know that you need to deep condition okay and for the sake of balance and the overall health of the hair everyone definitely needs to deep condition at least once in a month all right i do switch between store-bought deep conditioners and diy deep conditioners tell you what even with products in my hair my hair used to scream unhealthy unhealthy but now even without products in it it is much healthier all right guys we are done extracting the aloe vera gel so the next step will be to blend it so i'm just going to pour the aloe vera gel into my blender to this gel i'm adding avocados this is one of the major ingredients for this recipe as well so i'm making use of two avocados Amongst other things, avocado is very rich in healthy fat and then combining it with moisture rich aloe vera, moisture is definitely going to penetrate your hair strands and stay there. Alright, I've added the avocados and the next thing is to blend uh, the aloe vera and the avocado together. After that, I'm going to go ahead and strain the paste. Next, I'm going in with an egg, which is very rich in vitamins that helps to keep the hair thick and healthy. After that, I'll go in with shea butter. This is melted shea butter. I choose to add shea butter since it's a heavy oil and it's going to help lock all that moisture in the hair and it also, it also has other benefits. Next, I'm adding a, a tablespoon of olive oil for its antibacterial and antifungal properties. Then I'm going in with three tablespoons of my regular conditioner. After that, I'm just going to mix everything well. And here is our aloe vera deep conditioner or aloe vera avocado deep conditioner. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it on my hair, which is freshly washed. I already detangled my hair at the level of a pre pool and I washed my hair in sections. I'm going to follow those sections to apply the deep conditioner. In fact, working in sections really make everything so easy. All I'm doing is just applying the deep conditioner and working it in the sections. Then when I'm done with each section, I'm going to put it in a twist and move to the next one. So what deep conditioners do is that they add and retain moisture in the hair. And I'm sure you know as well as I do that moisture is key to healthy hair. They also restore our hair's natural shine. They promote elasticity. They reduce split ends and they prevent damage. First half of my hair done and now working on the second half. And now on the last section all right guys so after covering my entire hair with this deep conditioner i covered my hair with a plastic bag and i left it on for 30 minutes 
and after 30 minutes this is how my hair looks and i'm just going to go ahead and rinse it with just water no shampoo again and after rinsing out the deep conditioner this is how my hair looks just look at those coils the definition the elasticity is intact my hair feels so good guys please remember that there is an there is an egg in this deep conditioner so when rinsing out the deep conditioner from your hair make sure you use cold water or lukewarm water if you use hot water it, it may cook the eggs in your hair and it's going to be very difficult to get it out i rinsed my hair with uh, lukewarm water and then i went in with my leave-in conditioner and my oil Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you have not yet done so. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.